my name is Yvonne Mwale and I come from Zambia, from the eastern part of Zambia. I'm a singer by tribe and my music is Afro jazz and blues. Basically, my music talks about a lot of things. I talk about life, about what I've experienced myself and also about other things. I look around what's going on in the world and I get inspired, you know, so I, 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 I try to come up with songs and yeah, that's my music. The influences, they're coming from, uh, from the village where I grew up from, you know, in the eastern part of Zambia. I come from a very small village in Petauke, it's called Petauke Mumbi. There's a village there called Mumbi. It's uh, a village from my mom and that's where I grew up from, you know. I, I, I grew up uh, being surrounded by so many people who did uh, music at this time, you know, especially those people in the villages. We had this certain kind of uh, music that they used to do, especially when there are old parents sitting there and they all used to form up like making teams, you know. They played some drums and they used to sing in these kind of um, tradition rhythms, you know, like more into like clapping and doing like these kind of sweet harmonies, like hey, ah, oh, he, you know, this kind of beautiful rhythms and because of that i got really inspired you know and i thought okay maybe i can just try to come up with something you know something similar but also in a different way you know so i grew up listening to those people doing their you know their kinds of music in the village and of course it has the influence of uh especially those those people who have so many beliefs you know in in my village we have people who, who, are, who, are, who are also connected to their, you know, when they are, they are, they are praising their ancestors or, you know, this kind of um, tradition, rhythm, spiritual kinds of uh, music, you know. But for me, I felt like it's, it's better if I can just um, maybe try to come up with something, you know, something really unique. I got so much inspired. And uh, besides that, my mom also, you know, she used to be into music. She used to be a dancer. She she danced uh, in this band. It, it used to be so popular back then in Zambia. It's called uh, Masie Band, you know. And uh, yeah, so I grew up listening to music, listening to kinds of uh, music you know my mom also she really supported me and we used to make jokes and she was like yeah you know why not maybe one day you'll become missing and that time i used to dance 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 so that's all i did so that's where uh, my music is coming from basically yeah in goma it was really really nice um it's a small, beautiful town in, in Congo. And uh, we had this festival called Amani Festival, you know. Amani, it means uh, peace, you know. It's all about making peace, having peace in their country because of what has been going on lately, you know. They've had some ones and so many people have died in Goma. So for, for me, it was really a wonderful experience and I felt so much uh, peaceful to go there and, uh, you know, perform perform in front of maybe more than 20,000 people, you know. It was such a beautiful experience. And also, for me, it's uh, I don't look at too much about where I come from because I'm black and uh, anywhere I go in Africa, any part of Africa, you know, it's me. I belong there. So it was more like I'm going back home, you know, and try to, to preach about making peace in the country, you know, singing for those people there who've been through a lot. It was so much, so much peaceful for me. And I'm happy because I did a lot of things with them. I could see some some people who were really, really stranded, especially young artists who need some encouragement, who need some empowering, you know, some advice, how they can how can how 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 they can grow in music, you know. So we got so much connected. On top of that, I did some beautiful workshops with them, you know. We talked about life, we talked about so many things and uh especially for girls, you know, those girls were like maybe some of them 14, maybe 12, uh, 16, you know. And I, 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 I kept on telling them, you remind me of me because I was at that age and this time I didn't have anybody, you know. For them, they're even lucky because some of them, they're still in, in, their, in their parents' houses, you know. I was on the street for some years and uh, somehow I managed, you know, because of my career, I managed my singing 
I, I, I had to, to, to get out of that somehow because I believed in myself and I really believed in my music. And I believed that I could, uh, you know, through what I went through, I didn't want anybody to feel pity for me because somehow that really, really made me strong. So this is why I'm here today, you know. So we could talk about a lot of things in the workshops. We did some singing with them and they were so happy. They got connected to me and also I felt really like, okay, this is something really cool. It's working between them and me. So they made me feeling so comfortable. And uh, yeah, it was a wonderful experience in Goma. Yeah. Why you are my star? We are always wake, wake. We've always had ideas and we still have some works coming up. At the moment, we are all busy in the studio, you know, working on the album. And it will be out in September. So, and I'm hoping that um, in future, you know, we get more connections here and I just want to really aim it that many people here in Europe, you know, they can get to, 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 uh, to listen to my music and also, you know, they can learn more, you know, about my music and also they can get to know the real person in me, this soul, you know. So, yeah, that's it. I think so. Yes. So this Friday, we are in Berlin at Werkstatt der Kotorin. So you have to be there, you know, you just try, you just have to be there because I've got so much to give you, you know, don't miss it, you don't want to miss it. So hope you make it and see you there.